OK, so thank you everybody for joining our Q3 product webinar. This is our first uh, quarterly product webinar that we're going to be looking to put on. Uh, here at SIF, we've been looking to find more ways to sort of better involve uh, our customers, our prospects, and, and sort of anybody who's interested in our quarterly product updates, as well as involve you in our future roadmap uh, decisions and ideation. So happy to have you all here today. Um, I'm Ryan Bickham. I'm the VP of product uh, here at SIF. Been here for a long time, helped build the products um, initially now dealing as an engineer, now dealing more on the product side and just very excited to talk to uh, all of our customers um, and everybody else. So thank you so much for joining. So uh, just really quick, some housekeeping notes. Uh, we welcome all questions and answers. Please use the chat and the Q&A areas for that. And I'll be getting to those uh, at the end and we'll pull anybody else in uh, from our marketing team. We're also here for any other questions on that regard. Uh, we are going to have a poll question at the end, a very just very simple one about our, our future roadmap. So keep an eye out on that. And we will be getting the recording out of this meeting to you within the next few days. Uh, so keep an eye out there. And uh, if you want to share it out with anybody or have any questions after that, please feel free to contact us. Uh, so today I'll just have uh, a short over overview for you. We'll have plenty of time for questions at the end. Should only take maybe about 20 minutes to walk through everything I got here today. Um, so we're going to go over what we've been up to so far this year, sort of in the future, we'll be doing these quarterly, but just figured uh, we'd go over just everything we've done in 2023 so far. We're going to talk about what's coming up next for SIF. So some of the things that we're currently working on in a sneak preview of what we're thinking about. And lastly, I'm going to let you all know how you can get more involved in our in our product ideation process. We've sort of recently done an internal revamp on how we collect user feedback. Um, and all of that. So I'm excited to tell you about those things. Great. So what have we been up to in 2023? So the first thing we released this year is our self-guided onboarding functionality within the admin dashboard. So this gives us a way to let both our new and existing users know how they can best utilize the features and functionality within SIFT. One thing that we'll often do with our platform, just because we want to make sure it remains to be very customizable to your organization, is when we release features we'll often have them sort of off like by default. So like if we, we've we recently, for example, released SIF pages where you can create profile pages for things that are not people, we've released um, further data integrations, but uh, we don't, we try not to like automatically opt people into those features. And, and one of the problems with that in the past is people have often just not seen what these things are. So we're hoping to use this self-guided onboarding experience for existing users to sort of let you know about what's new. And then obviously for our new customers, it'll just help you be efficient uh, for launching SIFT. And what this will do is this will just show up in, on your admin dashboard homepage, and it'll also walk you through each step as you sort of go to those different steps in the admin dashboard. Uh, the biggest thing we've released on the sort of end user side of the application this year is our directory page redesign. So the biggest thing we did here was bring our SIF pages right into our directory search. So um, as a reminder, it's, or to anybody who doesn't know, we have these things called SIF pages, which in their most common use case represent like groups of people in your organization. So you can have like a profile page for your projects or your office buildings or your internal resource groups. Um, and in the past, we could only access those by directly searching for them or going to a person's profile and, and clicking on a little chip. But now you can sort of see all of your projects or all of your office locations or all of your cities and, or, any, or all of your awards that you give people in one centralized location, just like you see all of your all of your team members who you work with. And this was a big thing that was requested by a lot of people because in the past, I could go and see like what projects a person was working on, but I couldn't see at a high level like which projects existed at my company, et cetera. Uh, another thing we did is just like a, a big UI overhaul uh, to this to this page. So uh, one thing we added, which is actually not pictured here, is sort of a, a table view where you can add just like sort of unlimited columns of data. So it's just kind of like a more condensed view for people who are interested in seeing like more data and you can sort of look at all of your different attributes and have them all within a single view. We made the top portion of this page smaller so you could just see more uh, search result information here. And then we just made some sort of backend changes to make the, the search performance more efficient and, and things like that. Um, and the last uh, big thing I wanted to share with you is we now have a fully functional, like self-guided free trial signup experience. So uh, in, in previous years with SIFT, you often had to contact like a salesperson in order to get a demo or a sandbox of the environment or even start being a customer but now you can just with one click like sign up uh, for SIFT and start using it right away 
Um, so this is one thing that you can currently do. And, and we've made a lot of changes to our platform to make this process um, smoother and easier. So initially when you sign up, uh, our first iteration of this, you had to receive an invite email, but now you can get right into the platform. We've added the self-guided onboarding. We have some other things coming up that'll make make this experience easier. So just really giving SIFT a better sort of self-service option uh, rather than uh, requiring um, our support on a lot of different things and a lot of different aspects. Um, and not that we won't be here to help you forever, but that's just one thing that we've we've been working on here. And along with that, we've done a lot of other things that are just a little bit smaller or less visible, but still very important. So we did our yearly SOC 2 type 2 audit. So if you're interested in our latest SOC 2 report, like let us know and we'll have that available for you. We've made a, a lot of significant improvements to our data sync process. So as, as we've um, added more and more customers to our platform and larger and larger customers to our platform, we've made a lot of tweaks to make things a lot uh, more performance so like data sync errors and issues that you would frequently see in the past that would cause things not to work for reasons on our end are now mostly eliminated um and last but not least we have started to work on sort of a, a localization uh, effort for sif so uh for users who may speak a different language than english is their primary language we've made some optimizations for native browser translation that your web browser will do so we've we've sort of done some like quality of life things like made it so like names and email addresses don't get translated when you use browser translation and, and just made the experience a little bit better and also on our roadmap is to bring full functionality for, for localization um so that's something we're going to be working on in the future as well as far as what is coming next the biggest thing that we're currently working on which should be released in the next month or so here is we're going to um sort of improve our user experience uh, for data sync, which a lot of people have found pretty confusing. So our, our mappings page, creating a new data source, like monitoring your past sync. So you see the, the screenshot at the bottom that shows like a summary of your last sync where it shows like how many people were added and updated. If you have an error, we're gonna tell you why you have an error um, and just making the experience a lot easier. The, the mappings experience, like right now you have to type all of your things manually inside of the mappings form and we're going to automatically create some things for you and be a little bit smarter um so this should this should really help um, when setting up these 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 data sync experiences because we have noticed that this is really the biggest barrier uh that we have for for setting up sift and this is our next sort of admin dashboard uh initiative that we're currently working towards so i hope that's something that everybody is very excited about we're working on some further microsoft teams app updates so if, if your organization uses Microsoft Teams and you're a SIF customer and you're not currently utilizing the Teams app, I'd, I'd highly recommend it. So you can sort of fully utilize all of SIFT within Microsoft Teams through a Microsoft Teams app. And there's a few different ways that you can use the app. One is there's kind of just like a fully embedded experience of SIFT, so you can kind of use it exactly how you would use it normally. Secondly, you can kind of use the Microsoft Teams search bar right at the top of the interface to search for people in SIFT, so we've kind of directly integrated to that. Um, and lastly, uh, maybe the most exciting thing that's sort of a unique value prop within Teams versus outside of it is we have a extension to Teams meetings where um, our overlay will automatically bring up SIFT profile previews of everybody you're meeting with. So one of the most common sort of use cases we have for SIFT when you're going to like meet a new person and look at their profiles, like, hey, I'm meeting with this person in the company that I've never met before and I want to get to know them a little bit better. So the idea with this, this meeting overlay is that, hey, like now when I'm in a meeting, I can just like go and learn about this person for the first time while I'm talking about them. And this is like, this has been out for quite a while now. It, it, it released last year, but uh, Microsoft has made some improvements this year that will allow this sort of meeting integration to be automatically added to all of your organization's meetings, where previously um, every new meeting you were in, you had to like click this like add app button at the top of the bar and like add the thing to your meeting manually. Um, so just automating that process to make it a lot easier. And the other thing that we've uh, released for Microsoft Teams this year, and this, this one is actually already out um, and available, is you can custom brand the SIFT app within Teams. So as uh, as many of you know, within SIFT itself, you can sort of use custom theming to make the user interface have your your company's branding. And now you can do the same with the Teams app. So like if you want to call like SIFT internally, like uh, 
people search or like whatever your your internal company directory would be called. You can now literally switch the name of the, the app within Teams and like the word SIFT will not will no longer appear and you can make it branded towards you. So and a preview of something that's sort of in the ideation stage is we are looking to change our homepage. So at, right now our homepage is kind of that big purple search bar that lets you initiate a a search and it, it provides like a really nice autocomplete to you. And while everybody likes this autocomplete for the most part, and, it, and it's very, very helpful, we feel like there could be a lot more sort of proactively engaging features that we could bring inside of SIFT. So for example, like matching you to a mentor, like giving you like company announcements or having a daily fun fact. So like this is kind of just like during an ideation day for, for, our, for our company, we put this together. None of this is finalized. Um, but this is something that we're going to be working towards. So just making SIFT a little bit more real time and giving you like engaging content rather than you needing to like know who you're looking for. Um, and we've we've worked on this a couple of times over the last couple of years. We actually sent out like a, a sort of survey a around a year ago to ask uh, our existing customers like what they would like to see on a new homepage. So, and we're still looking uh, for ideas for this. We may be reaching out to, to all of you in the future, but I'm really excited about uh, this feature personally. And because like I said, even though our homepage is very functional and, and, it, and it works well, uh, we think that we can provide a little bit more value there than we currently are. So that's that. And those are sort of the things on the, cur the currently existing roadmap. We're also working on new things. We're always looking for your feedback. And we have just sort of, started looking at different ways to collect user feedback and we have this feature request board that exists um in SIF that you may have seen before and um again we're we're kind of paying more attention to it now so if you actually if you go if you're a current SIF customer if you go to the top right of your SIF application there's a link in there that sort of links to feedback and requests and that will link directly here but you can also go to directly to feedback.justsif.com and sort of submit your ideas for anything that you would like to see also follow us on social media we're very active um, on linkedin so if you're in, ever interested in product updates or anything else please follow us there and other than that just always feel free to reach out um to us at any at any given time that feedback site is probably the best way to to reach out from a product perspective and we're always open to any ideas but uh, our design team is always looking for people to to interview for future functionality and things like that so um please always feel free to give your feedback and that is all that i had for my presentation i got through that very very quickly i know I'm a, i know i'm a fast talker but hopefully it's all super valuable for you and we do have one poll question that i believe uh, we are going to ask in the chat right now and this poll question uh is what updates would you most like to see us focus on next um one would be sort of enhancements to the end user experience so this is the part of sift that all of your employees use so the directory and org chart new engagement features like the home page etc uh second is enhancements to the admin dashboard so like better reporting so one thing we've heard a lot of people ask about is like can i see usage statistics can i see more aggregated statistics about my directory like how many people like fall under this person and what is their like total salary information so kind of more like leadership tools where you can aggregate information or third would you like to see more uh data integrations to more external sources of data and communication tools so would you like to see us work on more work day more hr system integrations skills integrations communication tool integrations things like that and i know your answer might be all three of these things but if you had to pick one uh what would you say Nice. So yeah, I mean, it, it looks it looks like people are favoring sort of the end user experience, and, and and we we certainly agree. I mean, I think that those are the most sort of fun features, but a lot of the time, uh, sort of individual customers will have individual requirements on on the admin side. So it's it's always a balance. But yeah, thank you for for your answer on that, and I hope y'all y'all are excited for the improvements that we have there to come. So. Great. And now we are on to Q&A. And the first thing uh, is we did have a couple of, of questions that came in uh, prior to the webinar. And I think it might have actually been JP, the person who just commented to ask this question because he emailed me the same exact question yesterday. So uh, our first question was, are there any plans to pr support provisioning an SSO from Okta instead of Office 365 in Azure Active Directory? Uh, the answer to this is yes. So. Um, 
there we do have a couple of integrations that exist that are not uh, available self service in the admin dashboard just because there's a, they're they're currently a little bit more complex the way we have them set up and, and Okta is one of those so we do currently support Okta provisioning that's something we're still working towards a little bit um, and then we also in addition to that support provisioning directly from UKG uh, as an HR system integration um, and I, I, I haven't. With the new data sync improvements project, the, the self-service LDAP integration is, is is going away in the admin dashboard, but we we can still set that up for you manually uh, as well. But yes, we do currently directly integrate to Okta for both provisioning um, and single sign-on. With the single sign-on, you can can sort of use it the way that it is right now, just because you could use SAML through Okta. Uh, but with the the user provisioning, we do support that as well. You just have to reach out to your customer success manager. Okay, there it is. I see it in the chat. Okay, so we have a lot of requests for shareable org charts, but we need to hide names and faces. When might this be available? This is something that is currently being considered on our roadmap. So in general, the concept of further customizing how the org chart cards look on the org chart for export purposes is something that comes up quite frequently for us. Uh, so we have heard this use case, right, where you're trying to generate an export for maybe somebody external to your company and you're not interested in showing people's names and pictures on there. You're just interested in showing their job title. Um, so that's something that we've definitely heard and, and it is on our product roadmap. We kind of had the whole feature sort of laid out for customizing the org chart cards, cards further and coming up with different ways to do that. So it's certainly on our roadmap. And if you want to reach out to us directly, I can share more information on that. Yes, OK, JP, uh, you know my other one too, better support for automatic time zone setting for users and preventing them from turning it off, needed for any any globally spread out company. Um, yeah, this is one that we're looking at too. So so SIF currently does have a time zone and working hours feature, but each individual user needs to set it up manually. Um, and uh, for for some companies, they have that information on hand in some other data system. And right now, it's not the most convenient way to map that into SIF. But also on the end user experience, coming up with a better way for the time zone to be automatically set, uh, like rather than needing to proactively go in and do it. Um, and that's that's another thing that we would love uh, to work on as well. Um, thanks for that call out, JP. Homepage redesign today's anniversaries and birthdays. Yeah, yeah, that, that's definitely one of our biggest ones. So for the homepage itself, the the sort of features that we'll be most looking at for MVP will be things that are kind of like already doable and sift in like another way so like that for example is kind of just doing the same thing as like going to the search results page and kind of like filtering by like a, a birth uh, like a birthday or anniversary date which which isn't the easiest right now but it's something that's kind of currently configured but in general for the homepage project we're going to kind of look to build a sort of like widget based like kind of system where there's a bunch of like different configurable areas that you can put on the homepage, and both the administrator and the end user would have control over those sections um, and we would just over time sort of add new features and functionality there. So probably for our MVP, we'll look to sort of get something out quickly that has like some more simple functionality because we don't want to wait to build like six underlying features before we release the homepage update because then we'd be waiting for a really long time. But but that's one of them that would definitely be available very quickly. So things like anniversaries and birthdays um, is a very good idea. All right, thank you so much, everybody, uh, for joining. Um, always love talking uh, to every, anybody interested in our product roadmap, and we always love hearing your feedback. So please uh, feel free to reach out to us or submit your feedback via that site. And thank you for joining, and have a great rest of your day.